Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, I'm making this video because I've been getting tons and tons of uh, questions on my other video about real estate. I haven't made a video about real estate in quite a while. I've been really busy, um, not with real estate, just with life. Got a new baby, she's right here. So if you hear some crying going on, it's her and I need to check on her. I'm down on my knees because I didn't want to um, have to rake up things so I can be up there where I normally am with my board. So just bear with me on this one. We're talking about owner financing. And so um, I do have another YouTube page. Y'all can see that right there a lot better. Um, it's my first and last name. So go ahead and Google. I mean, not Google, but um, on YouTube that you'll see my other YouTube page where I have a few other videos about how to start your LLC for your real estate business. Um, and there's a few other things about real estate that's on that page, not on my No Limit album reviews page. This page is more dedicated to my music stuff, but um, in my Navy stuff, but I have other my other YouTube pages right there. You okay, Savannah? So this, we're talking about owner financing. Um, this is probably the best way to get a house outside of you inheriting a, a home, right? So, owner financing basically means this. It means you're trying to buy a house, right? I don't care where you at in the country. This basically works. Um, the person trying to sell the house is normally going to be a for sale by owner. This is not going to be something that you uh, use with a real estate agent nine times out of ten. This is probably going to be somebody selling their home um, as an individual. So, this person owns their home free and clear. An example, some of y'all may not even understand what that means. My phone's dying, bear with me. Um, somebody bought a house in 1950 for $100,000. 2017, they've been paid off that money, that $100,000, and all they pay now for the home is the taxes to the city. That's it, right? So, now they're like, I'm about to retire finally, um, but... I want to sell my home, but I don't necessarily want um, to get all my funds right away. I want to get it in monthly increments, if that makes sense. So, um, owner financing is basically, I'll see if I should write this, um, Is that, that's, that's how it works. So, the owner will say they'll probably sell you the property. Of course, you need to, in, in all real estate, you need to do your due diligence and your research on properties, locations, and all that type of stuff. Be sure to do that, right? But just for example sake and for the making of this video, which my board is on this little couch. Anyway, um, they're selling the house for, like I told you, they bought it for 100000 back in 1950, but now it's 2017, and they're selling it for 200000 Let's just say the market says 200K is what it's worth now, right? Instead of you going to the bank to go get a loan, you just work out an agreement with the owner and say, yo, I can give you a down payment of X amount of dollars. So let's just say a down payment, DP, of 5,000. That's your down payment on this. So that takes this price from 200,000 to 195. Right, we all know that it's easy math. So from there, y'all work on an agreement with terms and conditions and everything, and everything's going to be legit um, through a real estate attorney, and also you're going to go through a title company and a closing company to, in order to uh, make everything legit and final. Right, this is not like no shaking my hand and I'll make you payments. This is let me see the paperwork. At the attorneys, you know, you should be going to a title company in order to sign these paperwork and all these type of things. This is not something that you just do at a kitchen table and it's over with. So, boom. We said you owe $195 now. 
$195,000 on this house. You put the $5,000 down already, which is probably going to be non-refundable, right? You're not trying to rent the property. You're not doing a lease option. You're doing a straight purchase. So you should get all rights to all tax benefits, to all actual ownership of the deed or mortgage um, for the land the uh, and for the property itself. So let's say y'all work out something. A lot of sometimes you can actually negotiate your monthly payments, two hundred thousand um, monthly payments depend on the area and all type of things. But just for the sake of the video, we're going to say your monthly payments are going to be thirteen hundred. That's your monthly payments. Monthly payments thirteen hundred. That's what you're going to pay. This amount. A lot of times that's going to include taxes. Um, and interest taxes and, and interest you're going to pay that until you pay off the 195 simple as that no banks no credit checks nothing only thing you got to do is come up with 5000 in this scenario for the down payment that's it and that's basically how owner finance works. That's in a nutshell. Like, you could probably find a lot more videos about that on YouTube, but that's it in a nutshell. So a lot of people was asking me about owner finance, and that's basically how it works. That could work for not just a single family home, but a multi-family home. If you find somebody, a, a, a owner who's trying to sell it, um, some people do it for a big commercial units as well. You might get lucky and come up come up on something like that. But the key to owner financing is you need to have the down payment money, you know, to show the um, seller that you're serious about getting the property. Owner financing is perfect for, at my um, perspective, for single mothers. Stop, Sheba, stop. For single mothers who have a job, it may not be the best job, but as long as they have a steady income coming in, um, you can work at McDonald's. But a lot of times, you know, when tax season come around, y'all get a lot of money, a lot of cases. So use that money to look for an owner financing deal so you can own, the, own some property. Um, and at the same note, right, for my single ladies out there, my single mothers, single fathers, too, this is for everybody, but I'm talking specifically to the single mothers. Um, you may, you may be like, oh, man, well, I got to pay a light bill, a water bill, a gas bill, and this bill, and, and that tax, and I don't want to do all that. Ladies, you don't have to. All you do is just rent the property out. If you stand with your moms or your aunts or whoever right now, but you get a lump sum of money, instead of going buying another used car that's going to break down in six or seven months, or instead of um, buying all these clothes and gifts for everybody else, go buy Go look up an owner financing deal. Five G's. You might find some for two thousand. Uh, well, not two thousand. Uh, that'd be very rare. But three thousand dollars down, five thousand, ten thousand dollars down. And during tax season, a lot of our single mothers have that money, but they don't use it to buy property. Just because you buy the property with somebody who's doing an owner finance deal does not mean you have to live in the property necessarily, right? You can use that property as what? An investment tool. So you put down five thousand, six thousand, seven, eight, ten thousand, and you keep staying with whoever you stand with or living in that um, one bedroom apartment that you can afford without having to worry about having to pay a water bill, a gas bill, or um, all these other kind of miscellaneous bills that come with home ownership, right? And you just basically rent out. That home, that home that you just bought to somebody else and you have them pay for it. And then also, it can get real, I can get real cerebral with this. Um, look up Jay Morrison. He's great about real estate. I get a lot of my information from him, Jay Morrison. And also look up um, Phil Pustiaski. He has a great video about um, how to buy a home with no, no money, no credit. Um, it has over like a million views on it. He's the top... Uh, person on YouTube for real estate investing um, videos and that's who I get a lot of my information from um, 
and some local people in my area here in Hampton that I talk to, um, and we, you know, um, network together. But outside of that, um, to them ladies, that's a great way to start building some type of wealth or financial uh, security for the future, for your children, for yourself, for your family, um, and also um, just to get your feet wet in investing and understanding that, okay, I put $5,000 down on this property. Now I'm getting tax benefits every year from this. I'm not making much money off of my job at Walmart right now, but that's fine. I got this person or these people renting out this home from me. And you can get real, like I said, you can get real cerebral with it. And what I mean by that is, instead of renting it out, you can do a lease option with that home to, with somebody else. Meaning that, oh man, it's an overload of information. But meaning that you get some, instead of renting it out and then you have to worry about all the maintenance or getting a property manager, all you do is basically you sell the property, you do a rent, a rent to own with somebody else and you have them be liable for all the maintenance of the home. Um, and it's a win-win situation because if you do the numbers right, um, because even if they get to a point where they can pay off the home, then you'll get some money in your pocket, a few thousand, tens of thousands, possibly. Um, and you bless somebody else with a home. Or if that person's not able to make that long-term commitment and they fall back on their payments or whatever the case may be, you don't have to sweat as hard because all you do is you go out and you find somebody else to do a rental own with or a lease option with for that property that you own because you have control. You are the boss. You know what I'm saying? And so um, that's a great, great method. Owner financing, finding a property that's owner finance um, during tax season, especially for my single ladies who get a lot of money during tax season. Y'all need to really uh, take more of, more of an advantage of that instead of going out and buying all these clothes or um, helping your, your auntie with her rent or whoever with their rent. Um, say right now, I can't do that auntie or mom or whoever or grandma. You know, I really want to look into buying this property. And they're going to probably look at you funny. Oh, you can't afford that. Da, da, da. You say, I'm not trying to afford it. I'm trying to be a boss. You know, you tell them you're trying to start your own business, your own real estate investing business. So you got the money for the down payment. You put that money on, down for that house and um, you find somebody else to rent it out. Now, who do you find to rent it out? Great question. You can go to um, Section 8, go Section8.com. And you can go to whatever county that you live in and get somebody from Section 8 to rent it out. That way the money just comes automatic. And you don't got to worry as much. Or you can do, like I said, a lease option. And you can have um, that person actually um, take over 